Howdy ho guys and gals, Jeff King here again in the Den of Tools and today we're talking portable stacking storage solutions for uh, for tools. Let's take a look at it. Let me get out of the way here. That Duncan jump in there. Hey Dunk. What's up? Anyway, this is the new Bauer one from Harbor Freight. They finally threw their hat in the ring and they got into it. This is I think their full system. This is all the options they, they offer. They don't offer a, let's talk about the negative first. They don't offer a drawer system, which you know I'm a huge fan of. Um, this The interlocking system is, well, it's kind of a pain. Let's see if this one works. Hey, that one worked. That one's a little hard. How about this one? And now they're all going to work for me. Get that one down there. Uh, there. They're all working today. We've had issues with them sticking to the point of it being really aggravating. Uh, let's see if all these... I'll get that one down there. That, you know, maybe it's an issue of you just have to work it in. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe that's the case. It just, it just takes a while to get it to, I don't know, sand itself down, you know, fit itself in. I mean, other, I mean, snapping it in place is super easy. Now the T-Stack system, that's the other system I have. That one can be a real pain to get to clip in. Unclipping it's usually pretty easy. We're going to take them apart to I clip them. But um, the other issue, well, first of all, let's talk about this. So the first thing we got up here top is we have the, you know, the standard milk crate kind of style. Um, it's fairly strong. You know, it's got some flex to it, so it's not going to just crack and break if you drop it. Uh, the, I don't know what else to say about it. It is, it is what it is. It's a, you know, it's a, I, you know what? I honestly thought I wouldn't find a lot of uses for it, and we find tons of general uses for it. You know, we're here staying in the RV, so lots of great general uses. Next up, we've got the Bauer. This is the clear top parts case. As you can see, we've got all sorts of miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, this was the one that was the second issue we had. Mm -hmm. And do you remember what that issue was? Uh, the altitude pressure. Altitude. We packed this at about 4,500 feet altitude. And came to open it at 2,000 feet, and uh, I haven't opened it again since. I don't think. Oh, yes, he has it. See, right now it opens nice and easy, but it does have a rubber seal in it. It was next to impossible to open when we came down to altitude. I had to get a screwdriver, get it in there, and depressurize it. Anyway, it comes with all these little compartments. They're nice, clearly set up to be hung like on a pegboard kind of thing as well. So there's that. This one, there's dividers that can go in this. I'm not using the dividers currently on these larger ones, but they just go in here. Oh, there's my Weiss. Love these scissors. They just slide into here like, like that so you can make them smaller or larger as you see fit. Anyway, big fan of these scissors. Using lots of, you know, all sorts of spare parts can fit in here. We got some knives in there. We got USB cables. I got some Olight stuff. I've got my Tekton uh, mini screwdriver set. Anyway, let's close this one. So as far as the latches on the front, here's what I'm going to say. So we brought this outside, and it is the, what was it, last week of February, last days of February. Yeah. Uh, but we are in Las Vegas. Lots of sun. And I let it sit out here for about an hour. And... It's really not that hot. Now, August, that'll be probably a different thing. But I, I honestly was worried about these latches. And these latches don't seem to be that hot either. All right, why don't we take this one off, show them the next one here. Now, this we have loaded. And we loaded all this before we left Montana, okay? Let me just say this. Before we left Montana, we threw it all in the truck. We drove from Montana to Indiana, from Indiana down through Texas, over to Vegas. Over 4,000 miles with this thing just packed full, shaking and quaking. And a lot of people are like, oh, driving with that's not a big test. Long-term vibration with heavy items is actually a really good test as to whether something can keep, uh, keep up with repeated use. So the next item here is filled with, I believe it's impact sockets. We got some gear wrench gloves, and some other stuff in the middle, but all of these, if I can get it out here with one hand. Oh, there we go. 
filled with impact sockets. This whole thing was jiggling around. This this case weighs, <laughs> weighs a good bit. These are all my cobalt uh, impact sockets. And, you know, no problems with it. Uh, it's a nice medium-sized case. It's very modular. These come out as well. You know, the, the, again, we have the little doors that go in between them or dividers that go between them, as well as the plastic Tupperware style cases themselves. Go ahead and close that up. Next on the showcase, it's all right. Now, this is not something that Harbor Freight uh, designed themselves. This is something, there's, a, there's one major manufacturer, I think, maybe two, who make these style of cases. So I think we all know who makes this. I've seen this at one other big box store in their own colors. Practically the same thing. But the question is, is it going to work for you? All right. Let's see what we've got in this one. This one's got the nice handle up top. We have this. Oh, this has got all my my diagnostics and other miscellaneous cases and such. And we've got that. All right, go ahead and close that up. This is a nice deep box. Wait, let me open this again real quick. Try to see if there's any kind of modularity, anything you can put in here. I don't really see anything. All right, let's close it up. Why don't you grab it from the center handle? I want to see what you think of that. It's like, oh. Dad, you're making me work. My finger swing came up. He's so far jammed or broken his finger playing basketball. How many times? Three. Three times. Time to stop playing basketball? <laughs> anyway, before we get to this, this is the bottom, this is the core case here. So to put the handle down, you have to squeeze those two tabs together. It's pretty easy. The wheels are held on by a cotter pin, so they're clearly removable. Whether you can get spare parts for them, I don't know, but hopefully you can. Let's go ahead and open the bottom case. Now, this is not a hinge lid. This is a, this, the, uh, the claps, clamps. The, there we go. They're on the side. So, you see that? The whole case comes off. There's a drawer in there. You will pull that drawer there for me. It's great having assistance. I basically threw my whole, like, recording studio in here and all the miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to grab that keyboard. That's not even, you see, that's not even completely full, but there was more stuff in it. Anyway, keyboard. nice and deep. Get away from my keyboard. It's mine. <laughs> nice and deep. As you see, it's attached to everything. Is this, is this the end-all, be-all system when it comes to storage? Is it going to be a complete challenger to pack out? No, it's not going to be a challenger even to T-stack, I don't think. Um, I would still personally choose my T-stack system over this. But the T-Stack can be kind of hard to get a hold of because, you know, they're, for, they're focusing more on the Tough system. Now, the Tough system does have more options and maybe the Tough, tough system 2.0, I mean. And I don't know, but if you're shopping at Harbor Freight, you're looking for a low price solution, especially when they go on sale, when they have the 20% off sale, stuff like that. That may be the way to go. I could see that being, being a choice that a lot of people might go with. Anyway. I just wanted to show that to you, give you a first look at it. We've been using it now for a couple months at this point, and then plus the trip. So it's been getting some wear and tear. Anyway, let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. What's the stacking system that you prefer? Uh, and uh, anyway, give us a thumbs up if you like the content. Be sure to like and subscribe. Don't miss any of the hot deals and stuff we do. And uh, that's all we got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine, shine on.